In today's video, I'm going to be painting up Morgan Ra and his Dark Reapers for the Eldari 40k army. This may seem like easy models that are predominantly black, but there are a few tricks to it and I'll show you what to do in this video. This first part may surprise you, but you'll actually want to prime everything bright white. Paint it as white as possible. Make sure that you put white primer all over it, either with an aerosol can or with an airbrush like I'm showing here. Next, I'm going to be using Dark Tone Wash from Army Painter and I'm going to be applying Splash Dash onto these models, which is basically a pre-wash. I will apply it onto the head and onto the tassels on top of the heads. And also, I'm going to be applying this wash onto the missile launchers. You will notice that all the areas that I'm going to be painting black later, I do not do this pre-wash on. I want to leave those areas as bright and white as possible. Other areas that will get this pre-wash are any of the hanging missile heads that you'll get on the sides of the hips and also on this tiny idol here. You'll want to wash the entire thing. Moving on to Morgan Ra, he actually has a lot more areas that are not painted black. For instance, the middle area here of his chest plate and his mask. And then also moving on to all the bone-like actuators and appendages that he has on his arms the blade on his gun right here and then moving on he also has this giant backpack that looks like a huge skeleton you'll want to go ahead and pre-wash that entire thing in dark wash i'll leave a little video montage here of all the areas that i had to pre-wash morgan Ra on. it's quite a few so go ahead and replay it if you need to to see where you need to put this wash So this may seem like a really long step, but this allows you to have really nice dark and crisp shadows for the contrast paints or army painter speed paints that you're going to be putting on afterwards. Let's start with the main color right away, black. For this, I'm going to be using grim black speed paints and I'm going to be applying five parts grim black to one part medium. The reason why I'm putting speed paint medium in here is to slightly tone down the pigmentation of the black paint. This is actually fairly dark if you put it on without the medium. So putting one drop of medium helps it be slightly lighter and helps the highlights read true. You're going to be putting this paint on all the pure white primed areas earlier. Putting this color on pure white allows it to really pop true and create the correct shadows as well as highlights on the models. As you're painting it, you'll want to be very careful around the head and also around the missile launchers or any areas that you had applied the splash dash pre-wash earlier on. Now moving on to Morgan Ra, you'll want to put this basically on his robes and he also has a headpiece that wants to be black. His big gun also is black. When you get close to areas such as his faceplate or the breastplate, any of the features that look like bone, which basically belongs on his backpack, that big skeletal piece that's his backpack, and also the little augmentations that come out, you'll want to make sure that you don't get any grim black in those areas. Those are the areas that you had splash dash earlier on, and they're going to be other colors that will be going there. So as you approach those areas, slow down a little bit, but otherwise, put a generous amount of the grim black on and it will make Morgan Rao look really nice and spiffy. Also, don't forget to put some grim black on the cloak of this little icon piece over here. It is a nice decorative piece. Just go ahead and put some grim black in these areas. Next, for the missile launchers, I'm going to be using purple alchemy. This is a almost reddish purple and it really kind of matches the box art pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it onto the missile launchers of all the Dark Reapers. There are also the reload pods for these missile launchers that are located on the hips. You'll want to paint those purple. I also paint the top tassel of Morgan Ra in this purple just to unify him with the rest of the Dark Reapers. However, you'll notice that I did not paint the tassels of the Dark Reapers in this color and I'll explain why in a little bit. While I'm at it, I go ahead and paint the shaft of this little icon's axe with this purple also. Again, it's a unifying color, it just makes everything belong together. 
Next, I'm going to break out some peachy flesh speed paint. This is going to go on the exposed face of the Exarch. I happen to choose a head with an exposed face. I also apply it onto the tiny hands of the icon statue. If you have watched my earlier videos, you'll know that my Eldari army is Beltan and their main color is green, which is the reason why I did not paint the tassels earlier on. I'm going to be using Orc Skin Speed Paint and applying it onto all the tassels of the Dark Reapers. The only one that doesn't get green is Morgan Ra, because why? He's the Phoenix Lord. He's kind of independent. While working on the Exarch, I make sure to paint his entire head of hair green as well. I next use Enchanted Steel Speed Paint and this really only goes in one area, which is the large blade at the end of Morgan Ra's gun. There is also a tiny axe blade on the statue, you'll want to paint that silver as well. For Morgan Ra's gun magazines, I'm going to be using Talos Bronze Metallic Speed Paint and this goes on the magazine that is attached onto his giant rifle and also there are two magazines hanging down his hip, you want to paint these bronze. For the Dark Reapers, the little tie for their top knot is going to be bronze as well, I go ahead and paint those with the Talos Bronze Speed Paint. Next, I'm going to be using Palette Bone Speed Paint. I'm not going to use it pure. I'm actually going to combine three drops of Palette Bone with one drop of medium and mix them together for basically the backpack and all the bony bits on Morgan Ra. This is basically, like I mentioned, that huge skeleton looking backpack, the bony looking actuators on his arms and shoulders, his breastplate, which looks like a bunch of ribs, the skull looking pauldrons on his left and right shoulder, and also his knee and shin guards on his legs. Lastly, there's a skeleton right on his base. You'll want to paint that in this palette bone color as well. The Dark Reaper Exarch usually carries this skull. The skull is going to be painted palette bone. You will also want to apply this color onto the skull pauldron on the Exarch. Next, I'm going to use Runic Gray Speed Paint. This is a bluish tint of gray and it works really well on the rocks that Morgan Ra and the Exarch are standing on. Next, I switch to Leather Brown Acrylic Paint this time, and I'm going to be applying it onto all the leather areas of the Dark Reapers as well as Morgan Ra. All the items that are dangling down from the belts have little leather loops, and also like over here on the Exarch, there is a long leather strap that you can paint in brown. There is also a leather strap that is tied onto the skull that he is holding. Paint that brown. Most of the Dark Reapers have leather pouches. Those get brown as well. I painted the sashes around the left arms in brown, although you could use any accent color in this area. And for Morgan Ra, he has a lot of leather straps right around his waist area. Kind of locate them and then paint those brown all the way around basically attached to all the pendants and so on that are hanging off his hip. On Morgan Ra's base, there are going to be some branches and roots with thorns on them running all the way around the base. I paint this brown to give it somewhat of a rustic, earthy, grim dark look. Next, I use Greedy Gold Acrylic Paint. This is going to go on all the pendants that you'll find either on the guns of the Dark Reapers, also on your belts, and on Morgan Ra, he has multiple areas on his belts, like little pendants with soul stones on it, and so on. You want to paint all those gold. For the soul stones themselves, I've chosen red as my army's soul stone color. So using pure red acrylic paint and a detailing brush, I carefully place them onto all the soul stones, which are on the left of the breastplate of each Dark Reaper. For Morgan Ra, his soul stone is actually on his head. Since he has a shroud around his head, just be very careful as you're painting it on. He also has several soul stone pendants that are on his belt paint the soul stones in those red. Now switch to your smallest detailing brush and apply the pure red acrylic paint into all of the helmet eye sockets. 
This only applies to helmets. If you use any bare-headed models, such as what I did for the Exarch, you will not be putting this red in there. I'll show you what to do with those eyes later on. Next, time to apply some dark tone wash only to specific areas. I'm going to be putting this on any of the leather straps that I painted with leather brown earlier. So that would be the sash on the left arms, any of the straps on the waist or on the skull, and also on any of the pendants that we had painted gold earlier. You do not have to put this wash on the entire model, only on areas you had used acrylic paint. Speed paints are already appreciated, you do not need wash in those areas. The next step is somewhat optional. If you want additional highlighting, you can use Mummy Robe acrylic paint. And I dilute it down quite a bit with water. And then after that, I basically spread it around on the top of the skull-like helmets on all the Dark Reapers. This allows them to be a little bit more highlighted and bright. For Morgan Ra, I apply this Mummy Robe White onto just select areas of his faceplate to make it look a little bit brighter. To create some lens flare on the soul stones and on the lenses of the helmets, I use lava orange acrylic paint and a detailing brush. I basically apply a slight swoosh onto all the soul stones and then also I apply this onto the eye sockets of all the models to give them a little bit of a lens flare or glare. If you want to further highlight the model to bring out that visual pop, you can use ash gray acrylic paint water it down slightly to make it runny and then after that use a long strand brush and then lightly feather it onto any of the leading edges that are kind of towards the top of the model. I kind of kid around with a term that I call what would light do or WWLD. Basically if you have a light source coming from the top of the model only the edges towards the top are going to get that gleam of light. So you want to lightly apply this edge highlighting only to the edges that are facing the top of the model. It does two things. Number one, it makes your models look more realistic because really that's how light works. And also secondly, it prevents you from putting highlights all over the model and then just almost over highlighting it and over emphasizing every little edge. It wastes time and it gives your model somewhat of an artificial look. I'm going to include a short montage here on the edges that I highlighted Mark and Ra with. This model is a lot bigger, so I'm just providing this as a visual guide on where I put those highlighted edges. As one final touch, my Exarch has an exposed head, so I'm going to be drawing in some eyes. I use a detailing brush and then matte white acrylic paint and apply it into his eye sockets. And then after that, I use a toothpick. I use the sharper end of it, dip it in some matte black acrylic paint, and then dot two small pupils onto the eyes. Now for the finishing touches, I just cleaned up the bases a little bit with some black primer. I just kind of paint them all the way around the edges of the rims just to clean them up from any overspray, make the bases look a lot neater. And to finish off the bases, I use very simple basing. I basically use brown flocking and some Elmer's glue. Just spread it all the way around the top of the base with an old brush and then dunk the entire thing into the flocking and that flocking will end up sticking in place. As an additional step, if you want to dress up your bases a little bit more, you can use these little tufts of grass and you do that by scraping off some of the flocking you had put down earlier, apply some super glue and then just put the tufts in place and you can do this in various random locations to give it a little bit of interest. Finally, protect everything with one layer of gloss varnish followed by a layer of matte varnish. This kind of dumbs down the gloss a little bit and gives it a nice sheen. This is a 360 degree view of the Dark Reapers followed by the same rotating view of Morgan Ra. Thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope that it was helpful for you. I have more Eldari content coming up. The next one is going to be on striking scorpions. I already have those models teed up and I hope you will join me for that video. Until then, happy hobbying.